Hello and welcome everybody. I hope you guys are having an incredible day. I thought it would be fun today to talk a little bit about herbs and to kind of give you guys a little sneak peek into um, some of the herbs that I have on hand. So, by the way, today is um, the first day that I get to use my new camera. So I'm pretty excited about that and not using my cell phone. So um, another milestone. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, baby. So I put some of my herbs, I just grabbed some of my herbs and put them in some bags for you guys. Uh, and I'm just gonna kinda like randomly pull some stuff out and like show you guys some of the stuff that I keep on hand. So, um, there's herbs are so incredible and a lot of people know and use them for a lot of things but then I think a lot of people overlook them and um, don't use this particular resource um, to its full potential so I know I notice a huge difference when I start using herbs um, all the time. You can use them in fats, you can use them in candles, you can use them in recipes, you can all sorts of products. I put herbs in the soaps that I do for you guys. So um, they're just an invaluable resource. So let's get started. Got rue and hyssop. And the reason I pull these out together is because I almost always use them together. They're great for spiritual cleansing and things like that. Um, you know, it's a huge difference uh, in your energy and stuff like that when you use them. So I love them for that. Um, some of these are going to be normal household herbs, and then some of these are going to be a little more obscure. So basil. I actually use that a lot for different things with money along with five finger grass and alfalfa. So I definitely use those a lot for that. Um, rosemary and lavender, um, you know, for all the good vibes, harmony, household, love, family kinds of things. Um, Bay leaves, uh, you guys. These are so great um, for all sorts of things. But you can you can just take a bay leaf and write your intention on it and burn it, and that's a great way to do like a quick manifest kind of thing. So they're incredibly reasonable. They're a great visual tool. They're a great manifesting tool. Um, resource that sort of. Firmly reach them on hand at all times, and if you burn them like as an incense, uh, it increases friendship, relationship, fostering those types of feelings and things like that, harmony in the home, like things like that. So it's just oh, there's just so many different uses for it. Um, some of the other things that I have in here. Another, you know, definitely money one. Um, not really an herb at all, but I always keep some honey because you guys for sweetening up situations and stuff like that. So you can do all sorts of things with honey. So we're not gonna go into that. There's also some um some other more rare herbs in there that aren't necessarily ones that we need to talk about today. Um, they're used only in very, very specific circumstances. So, um, not really, not really the highlight of this conversation. The lemongrass. So, um, lemongrass is another one that's great for like purification, things like that. Um, psychic awareness as well. So if you're trying to foster that a little bit, 
de-stressing and stuff like that. Definitely one that we use medicinally. Um, myrrh. Myrrh has a lot of great uses, but one of the fun things to know about myrrh is that myrrh amplifies whatever you combine it with. So, something to keep in mind. Rose.
some point in time. My end goal is definitely to have a full-on section with shelves and mason jars of all of the different herbs that I use and things like that. But that is an in the future plan and right now with the nature of how my business is set up, it's just been better to keep things in bags and, uh, and kind of keep them organized like with like in bags like that so that I can just grab whatever, um, whatever bag I need based on my needs or my client's needs at the time. And it's worked out pretty good that way. It's like an organization thing. So, so that's a that's a little sneak peek into my um into my herb collection. So hey hey hey, we're gonna take care in just a minute. So uh, thanks so much for watching. If you do not have any of these herbs, or you need some herbs, or you need a specific herb combination then uh, just let me know. I'm happy to make those for you. I do make custom orders as well. Uh, I can get you in touch with a bunch of different... <laughs> Wait, and I will explain. With a bunch of, um, you know, I can, I can do single herbs. I can do custom blends. Just let me know whatever you need. I'm always here to help you guys manifest.